He lied? Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to some more Danganronpa 2. I got sick again, so I haven't played this in over a week. I'm just so, I'm so sick of being sick, man. This last month has just been a complete write-off, basically. Hopefully now I'm on the mend. Um, I've just had some orange juice and we need to do some investigating because, oh boy, Nagito has been moided and I'm still in shock. I still don't quite believe it. I have an idea of how it maybe went down, but a lot, I'm probably wrong, and I have no idea who could be capable of such a very cruel murder, it seems. Like, Nagito does not look like he went out well. Like, out of everyone, he's definitely had the worst death, I'd say. Probably in, maybe in the entire series. Like, it's horrific. So, we've investigated the warehouse and the factory, now we need to go to the military base, which I'm right outside of, and then his room, and then the castle? I can't remember actually, but um, anyway, let's continue Danganronpa 2, finally, again. Oh man. Oh, Kazuichi's here, okay. No, I didn't- I didn't mean to check out the- the truck full of freaking RPGs. Um... Whoa! I found it! What did you find? Huh? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival knife? Which... Yes! Right, we need to talk about the first game again for a second, because there's things that I have forgotten. At the end of the first game, there was a murder that happened where the the victim was kind of disguised and there was a there was a knife involved also that spear that gungnir spear was also in the first game and i completely forgot so again more more parallels popping up between the two don't know what it means yet obviously hmm wait that's yeah uh, that was the type of knife that Nagito, uh, w was, um, got, got quite intimate with. Maybe... Which means the killer obtained the knife here. All right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. Anyone. Could be fucking anyone. I, I really, I genuinely don't know who it is. I j well, I don't think it was Kazuichi. And it's going to be annoying if it is, because, like, pretty much the whole game, I've wanted him to be <laughs> to be the killer at some point. But, I don't know. I, I just don't know if Kazuich is capable of this. Maybe he's just been playing a very, uh, a very good part of the kind of... I don't know. He, he just doesn't seem the type, right? But, we'll see. Um, as long as it's not Chiaki. If it's Chiaki, that might break my heart a little bit. You know what I mean? But, again, I really don't know. Um, that's everyone, though. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. Oh, really? Really? This is the first time you've been here, but you're into all the... You're, a, you, you're basically a mechanic slash electrician slash engineer. What What even are you? Like, is he... Is he the ultimate mechanic? You know what? I'm gonna check his report card because I've actually forgotten what he technically his ultimate is. Um, what are you? You are the ultimate mechanic, right? So, the ultimate mechanic didn't want to go to the military base where there's a shit ton of tanks, trucks, uh, you know, I nearly said ornaments, <laughs> armament, armaments. The shit to the priceless art, uh, ornaments here look great on your grandma's fireplace. Um, right. How have you not been here? That sounds fishy, right? What? Talk. Hmm. I don't think you would have resisted the the urge to come here, Kazuichi. I'm calling shenanigans. Um, that tank is huge. 
If the bombs are fake, this might be fake too. But I'm not brave enough to check for myself. Yeah, so we learned obviously that Sonya... Well, we knew Sonya had come here before we were um, racing to, you know, disarm the bombs, which turned out to be fake. She knew they were fake because she'd seen them in the base. Uh, and so I, I feel like Sonya at the moment is really the only... Well, I kind of feel like she's the least suspicious. You know what I mean? But then again, I mean, would Akane be able to do it? I just don't know. Hmm. You know, I'm looking. I'm thinking back to like that scene in in the cafeteria where Akane was basically choking Nagito to death. Chiaki slapped her out of it, and I remember Chiaki saying something like, "You wouldn't, you you're you wouldn't be capable of that." Or so, so I'm paraphrasing, but you know what I mean. Like you're you're not the the type of person. I wonder if that's important. Oh god, if it's Chiaki, I don't know how I'm gonna take this. Anyway, it's early days yet. Let's not let's not jump to any conclusions. I actually do need to figure out what what I'm supposed to search for here. I think I'm supposed to be here anyway. It's that dreadful helicopter, the one that executed Teru Teru. It doesn't have anything to do with the incident. No, no, it does not. We've checked out. The other truck. When I tried looking through the truck bed, it's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. That confirms her, um... Yeah, that confirms her story. I thoroughly searched them inside the military base. Yep. Did Nagito know the bombs were, uh, weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. I hadn't really considered that, to be honest. But, I don't know. I feel like Nagito has been, like, on the ball, like, so far ahead of everyone else that he would have known they were fake. Because he knew, well, he knew the one that he used at the hotel was real. Do, do I rem I don't remember where he got that. Do we know where he got that from? I can't remember. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, he did, yeah, sorry, yeah, he said as much as his video message. I'm glad that Hajime's got a shit memory like me. <laughs> Were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Yeah, okay. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. Oh, he, he I think, didn't he get the real bomb from the octagon? Or at least we think we, uh, he did. Is that really it? Did Nagato only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. Knowing him, probably. Knowing knowing this game, it's probably way more complicated than it seems. And it seems pretty complicated. So, um, yeah. I don't... Is there any... I mean, I've spoken to Kazuichi, right? So I think, can we just leave? Have I searched everything? This dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who could do that. It's... yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. Frickin' surface-to-air missiles there and shit. Although, to be fair, I mean, I wouldn't know how to use a tank. I wouldn't... I'd probably struggle to even, like, <laughs> like fire a rifle properly. I've never used one before. I've used an air rifle. It's a little bit different, though. Right. Do we do we leave? Have I checked everywhere? I don't know. I mean, it's still saying that I'm not sure. Let's go to Um I wanna you know what? I really just want to go to Nagito's room. I really do. I really just want to go to his room. You know what? We're going to do it. Because I want to know... I want to just try and get more of a window into uh, Nagito's mind. If if that is possible, and if that is wise. Uh, it's probably quite a, quite a dangerous place. Uh, also, hey, Chiaki's over there. Hi, Chiaki. I really hope you didn't kill him. I mean... I probably would still forgive her, but 
whoever did kill him is really fucked up and quite scary. So, I don't know. Um, hi, Chiaki. Mm, I'm annoyed. What happens? I'm annoyed. <laughs> okay, why? What are you annoyed about? I want to investigate Nagisa's cottage, but I'm annoyed. <laughs> but I'm annoyed! I think she's annoyed. I, I'm annoyed. I don't really understand, but you can't investigate Nagato's cottage? Maybe I should try investigating Nagato's cot. That's why we're here. Is it locked? It's locked. It's locked? <sighs> Apparently. You can't go inside thanks to that. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to investigate another area. What are you going to do? I'll go look for Monokuma. He might open it for us. Why don't we just yell for him? He usually just turns up in instantly anyway. And let me know when we can go inside. Ah, yeah. there's a they're making us wait for that one, aren't they? They're making us wait for that one, god damn it. I want to see what Nagito's been up to. I wanna I wanna Oh, you know it's gonna be really messed up in there. Okay, well let's go back to uh, I, I'm sure the castle, the castle was one of them, right? I've completely forgotten where they told me to go. Uh, I probably should have watched the... Yeah, it's the castle. The end of my uh, last video. Yeah, because we've been inside the horror house. Back to Nozumi Castle, which of course we have been in before as well. But... I think this is where they said this- is this where the actual spear came from? I think? Again, this is apparently somewhere where Monokuma and Monami just can't go. Hey, Fuyuhiko! Yo! Yo! Look at that wall of spears, I guess it's obvious where the weapon came from. Ahaha! Uh -huh. Right. I guess it is. Uh, they'd have to get some sort of uh, step ladder to reach it, though, you know, because the 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 real ladder wouldn't help them, would it? Would it? Uh, they left a long time ago. A spear with a flashy ornament on it's hanging uh, on it is hanging from the wall. And there's the cable. Yep. This. Yep. That's definitely where it came from. I see. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. Same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also, plus it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. It would a spear that way. Uh, there's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gungnir, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a name, <laughs> a lame name like that. No, I'm pretty sure Monokuma didn't come up with that name. Uh, why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Yeah. I mean, again, I, I feel like I kind of know how the spear has been used to kill Nagito. Kind of like... Looped over the, the girder, he was given the weights to hold. And then when he... I don't know. I don't know, maybe during the torture he just let go and the spear dropped and shish kebabbed him. Well, yeah. Uh, they could they could have just killed him with a knife and it would have been easier too. No, they didn't they didn't want to I don't think they wanted to be there when it happened obviously because it'd be really obvious who the killer was then. Although I, I yeah. Yeah, I think I think there's no way a spear like this with the this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. It definitely looks hard to wield. But still they chose the spear for a reason. What could that reason be? And yeah, does it it must connect to the first game somehow. Hmm. I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer, even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. Right, they're gonna let us go in there now, are they? Right, catch you later for Yiko. 
I, whoa, that is really bright. Holy shit, have I even looked at... I don't think I've ever... Have I had a chance to look up at that before? I don't think so. That is really... That is bright. Holy crap. It's a pretty amazing location, though. Right, so, back to the cottage we go. Alright, ah, she found Monokuma. Fantastic. Hajime. Hi. What's this? Oh my, you want to go inside Nagito's room too? What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do while she was licking my... Good. Good. I'm... You, you don't know how relieved I am? Uh, I didn't do that. Boy, tough crowd. <laughs> then do it. It's sweet because it's made out of black bean paste. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. Ba -ba -ba -loose. Creek. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I open the door, you can freely investigate now! This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Perhaps... Maybe the cottage key is computerized? Hey, hey! More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. Oh boy, what's inside Nagito's room? Nagito was living here, he was. What is that? What is that? What was he thinking inside this room? All sorts of fucked up shit. Well, actually, no, it was probably just like, Oh man, hope is so great. Hope is just like, the best thing ever. I really love hope. What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? Pro probably just what, what I just said. I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope becoming despair, so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. He was. He certainly was. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. I'm not sure if it's going to be hidden as it is just screaming at us right now. But let's let's talk to Chiaki first. Chiaki is most most important. I just saw a Monokuma doll. I just saw a Monokuma doll. I just saw it. Also, is it just me? Or is that... Beaker thing... On the shelf over there? Which I'm probably covering. Well, it kinda look like a face. Kinda looks like a face. Anyway. Our time for investigating... Uh, our time for investigating is winding down. So... The bookshelf might uh, take some time to investigate. So we should try examining some other areas first. How about the big glowing pink treasure chest? on the table. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should check out. Although, now that I've done that, I worry that I may have missed the time. It doesn't really, does it matter? Does it fucking matter at this point in the game? I'm not gonna get all the dolls anyway. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Could this be... Oh, it's Monami's treasure, I forgot. I forgot actually, I remembered we went into the horror house, but I forgot what we talked about. Okay. So it was Nagito that stole that? Perhaps. That treasure box. Chucky, you know about this? Yeah, how do you know about that? Yep. It's really cute. I mean, it... I guess if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, she was just reacting. Okay. Or was she? This looks like Monami's stolen treasure... Um, this looks like Monomi's tr stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monomi was talking about was Nagito. More than likely. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is is it going to be okay? It looks a little dangerous. I mean, it could very well be a trap. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know. If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. And he'd have to know that we would gain access to his cottage eventually, right? I don't know. 
I turned back toward the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. It was a notebook. Usami General Purpose Notebook. This is it? Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? It's not going to be like a diary, is it? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It is a diary. It contains sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. <laughs> D dear one, I was able to uh, talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Bayakia is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. It is, it is, I called it. It's a diary. Um. Looks like it. Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. They're really, they're really reaming Monomi for her joint skills. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. We've been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's hungry and on... Uh, everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Wait a minute. What? Why was that so shocking to Hajime? I've it, again, it's been so freaking long. I don't quite remember why. S don't look at my notebook. Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monomi suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you. Phew! I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Geez, that was close. If I had come any later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? <laughs> but if this notebook is here, um, then Nagito, Nagito was the thief? No! Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook, it's pretty much your diary, right? Hmm? Diary? Um... It seems that way. That's right, this is my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey. Oh my god, it's getting real crowded in here. Hey, hey, you're a liar. Ooh. You always show up out of nowhere. Is it not her diary? Why you? Monami, it's not good to lie, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm still a bit sick, and also, like, my left ear is mostly blocked, so everything sounds very strange to me right now. <laughs> lie. <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah! After all, Monami can't even write. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. That's wrong. No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> I mean, that is true. But in cartoons, that's never really an issue. Hey, Bullseye, I know, because I'm the same way, too! I mean, at least you kind of look like you've got thumbs. What, what? Huh? Are you mad? You angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. You, you're seriously trying to crush me! What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. No, to to totally. You've not been beating the shit out of her every opportunity this whole game. <laughs> It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is that Mono is what Mo uh, Monokuma said true? Mm -hmm. Huh? You said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? And who the heck did? The person controlling Monomi did. The person controlling Monomi... Maybe. If so, who wrote in it? Maybe the traitor? Um, um... Well, you know, it's, um... How should I put it? Bye-bye! Excuse me! Hold up! Hold on! Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. Same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try and get answers from her. 
But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. I'm really curious as to why that entry was important to Hajime. I hope I hope that that gets clarified because I'm not 100% sure why that was so strange. Hmm. I'm going to grab that doll. Chilling no. in the bathtub. <laughs> Yay, 10 more coins that I'm not going to spend. Right. Um are we done here then? Yep. Yep. Why would not? Yeah. Why would he steal that? And why was the notebook important? Maybe, maybe because it it is written by the traitor. Oh wait, hang on. Was Monami even in the fun house? I don't remember if she was. If she wasn't. How the heck did she know what Hajime did? Ooh, I can't remember, actually. Hmm. I could be completely wrong on that, but just just a thought. Uh, yep, right. I guess... Check the bookshelf. A lot of books arranged here. Did Nagi's... You see what I mean? That thing there, it looks like he's got a face on it. It's weird. In addition to books, there's a bunch of random crap stuffed onto the shelf. Is it random crap, though? Eh, it might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through that stuff. Hey, hey. Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. Alright, is there anything else in here? The bed? Just looks like a bed. Uh, it looks like the one in my room, but... Hey, hey. Maybe there's something hidden under the bed. It's the usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like, like porn. Well, we should just uh, still check just in case. With no expectations and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and... There's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. A gas mask and some gloves. That's exactly what it looks like. These look like the real deal. Did he uh, get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves. But if it were in a, a bag from the super... I mean, I suppose he could have just got the bag from the supermarket and then got that stuff from the military base. He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? Gas mask. And rubber gloves. Okay, I have no idea how they factor into anything. The only thing I can think of, the only thing I can think of, is when they were we were waiting for the, all the smoke and shit to clear out the warehouse. That would be a pretty handy time to have a gas mask. Is there anything else under the bed? Let's see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and... There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It's a good job Chiaki asked us to go check again. Uh, a piece of paper made of blue aluminium. Or aluminum. A round thin piece of uh, aluminium. Huh? I'm British. Uh, it's similar to those seals that go off a jars of unopened mayonnaise. Oh yeah, ugh. Uh, I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Or why would it be under his bed, though? Wait, time out. Time, ti time out. Who, who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. We're finding some really random ass clues here. I, what, what did he do? Like, or maybe it was the killer? I don't know. Loot, like, just douse himself in mayonnaise? I... Mayonnaise is gross. Mayonnaise is horrible. Right, are we done? Oh, wait. I can check the fridge. What's Nagito been snacking on? Huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, where was my fridge? 
I didn't I don't have a fridge. I wonder where he got it from. Nagito probably supplied it himself. Hmm. How would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? I mean that would be the typical reason. But maybe there's like a freaking body in there or something. As I talked with Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Monokuma's special poison. For poisoning use only. <laughs> For poisoning use only. There really isn't much inside. Oh, there fucking is, Hajime. The only thing inside the fridge was a brown bottle. Mm. Mm, for someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he stocks very much. That bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? I don't think I'd want to drink from it. Uh, really, it looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? It literally... It, can you guys not read? It says poison. Took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Ex yeah. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death? I mean, it doesn't actually say that on it, but... That's usually what poison does. Uh, hey, this is... Yeah, it looks like it's poison. Poison? I think Alice Cooper put it there. Uh, th there's a warning label on the on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. Okay. But be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it. If you worry like that, I'm going to get nervous. Oh, damn. That's a lot. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. I should probably read it in his voice. Poison made for spe uh, specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes. It is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. I wonder if that was the... Was that the ultimate weapon? It was... Oh, shit. Yeah, was that not where... Did, was that the... <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a, a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Well, he sure did that. Mm. This sure does look like... <laughs> that was a long... Hmm. Sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagato get something like this? I'm, I'm guessing the oxygen. Well? Uh, yeah. I'm guessing he got that, yeah. Uh, I guess that could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Apply to the bomb? See? There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. There we go. This poison, he must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial? <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. <laughs> what would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Well, yeah, <laughs> that would have been pretty early. Well, we wouldn't have to worry about the bomb. Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? See? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. It's definitely been used. I wonder if that's how Nagito died. Because we don't actually know, do we, how he died? The file didn't say. Was it like this? Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Well, that's worrying. Uh, another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using the poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagato, are you still trying to make us suffer? You are still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Well, shit. I mean, if this if this didn't seem complicated enough from the outset, we've just found a bunch of stuff. 
Maybe he got poisoned. Maybe who wrote who wrote the diary? Why is there a piece of mayonnaise paper? I just so many questions. Okay. All right. Are we are we good? Can we leave? No. There's still some things here apparently. Like what? Oh, the shower room? Yep. Looks like there aren't any clues there. No. Okay. Window. Basic layout was just like my cottage. Oh. Uh, bookshelf? I mean, we did say we'd get back to it. Yep. Genres and types of items are also random. I can't make any sense out of them whatsoever. Oh! You know what I've just realized? That horse has got something stuck in it. Or is that just one of those, you know, merry-go-round horses? Oh, I lo love that bit of Mary Poppins where they're all riding on him. I used to love that as a kid. God, Mary Poppins is such a good film. Um, well? They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. I actually don't have any shelves in here. I should really get some. Do they now? Mm. I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. That doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Oh yeah, okay. Wait, what? Um, it's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff there. Well, not... I, I don't know. I, <laughs> what, what could possibly... What can we find that would be, like, awkward or embarrassing? It might be true, but... See? So, I leave the shelf to you. Okay. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. Yeah. I sighed and walked toward the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there were still a, a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Huh? Oh, shit. We found the file. Oh, no. The... Yeah, did we have- we never learned what that was, did we? Oh, No. Oh. Doesn't contain our information- just Hajime's information. Is- is that- that's the- that's the one where he learned that I wasn't an ultimate, right? Is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? He said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. Might be another one of his lies too. I mean, that's uh, that is possible. I opened the file and held. Uh, the, I opened the file that I, I held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, why is it so th so thick? Why is it so dummy thick? Yeah. As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me, just as I thought. Nagito had lied to me. He lied? Aside from information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyiko, Akane, and Sonya. Okay, so maybe... That was the lie? That there wasn't any other information? Am I still a talentless pleb? Everyone who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too? I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height, my weight and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. Okay, so that was actually true. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why, why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Uh, well, I just found a strange file. Uh. Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. Yeah, we just looked at it. 
It's not just my profile. Profiles of everyone on this island are in here too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles on all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Chucky leaned against me and peered into the file. Oh, we, we look so cute together. You're right. My profile is really in here. What does it say? But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. What do you mean? Details? Details about our missing memories. Oh. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Well, Nagito did say that that isn't that wasn't in the file, so. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Yeah, that that would make sense. And it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Maybe. Yeah, seems like it. Hmm. Hold on. Huh? What happened? I, I just noticed it right now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? Whose name? Nagito's? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Nagito's? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. Oh! I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Oh! Okay! Right. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. What does it mean? No way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. Well, yeah, we, we do know that he was, uh... Well, I mean, we, we know especially. For someone like him to be in a similar, uh, similar situation on this island, no matter what, is definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but... What are you saying about the missing name and about the killing school life? Too bad! It's totally wrong! There's a completely different reason! Do, do you care to elaborate? A different reason? You're getting all riled up! How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Bayakia for no reason. That Bayakia? Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Bayakia doesn't exist. That makes it sound like there's two of them. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. Wait a minute. Ultimate imposter? Are they gonna decoy octopus us? Every section was filled with question marks. It could be barely considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's that Bayakia's true identity. So that wasn't the real Bayakia, it was someone pretending to be him? Tr true identity. He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny by Akia Togami. If so, why? A fake? Okay, that's kind of great. If that is true, that's kind of great, actually. Because... Obviously, he did he did look like Bayakia, but a, a lot bigger. So if it was just someone like... Pretending to be him in basically back your cosplay. But I mean, they sounded a lot like him. But maybe they're just really good at. They're the ultimate imposter, right? But why? And who are they? That's the. Hey, um. 
The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. What? Do you, what? what do you mean? The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender are known. Oh my god, he's the Joker. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. Poo-hoo, <laughs> though I'm not jealous of that at all. That person wasn't really by Akio Tsugami. Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So <laughs> cool! His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying to us the whole time. But still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want to uh, want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. I guess, when you put it that way. What the hell? Anyway... <laughs> I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Bayakia is exactly the truth. Then... What was he trying to say to me at that time? Oh yeah... I... Mmm... Right, so that if that wasn't the real Bayakia... I wonder what happened to the real... Because, cause, yeah, I was I was wondering, because, like, he he escaped at the end of the first game with, their, with their, all the other survivors. So it was odd that he would be in this situation again. But, like... Oh, my gosh. I wonder... Distrusting others and being distrust, distrusted in return. My life has been a living hell. Based on the context, if I had to guess... No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the Earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you'd never uh, would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. Shing! But since you guys went to Hope's Peak Academy, you should have known about the Ultimate Impostor already. Yeah, so in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew. Jeez, the future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Could it be? So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Mm. I mean, the traitor is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. So you made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct! Oh... It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? So if, if the traitor wasn't... a student in Hope's Peak... Is that what they're getting at? Would they even have an ultimate then? Hmm. Well, probably. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. But I think, I, again, I'm kind of probably supposed to be. It's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue! Are you sure about this? Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know! Is it time for the class trial? T time's up, wait. Bye bye Excuse me for a- Yeah, you're going to do the announcement. Damn! Oh, th this, this one's gonna be- I mean, the thing is, there's not many people that can be a suspect. So at least there's that going for it, but I feel like- Everything else, everything else is just way more complicated, so it could still, it could still be a long trial. 
That chime just now. Yep. Damn, he moves what quick. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. You could, yeah, you could argue that. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? Yeah, which we must remember there is a countdown as well. We still don't know what that's all about. That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. The last class trial. Oh shit, son. <laughs> I'll see you soon. The last class trial. He, he said that right. He said last class trial. Probably because he knows that there's not going to be any time to do any more killings because that, that clock's running out. And I don't know what's going to happen when it does. Yep. I heard it too. He really did say it was the last tr uh, class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But still... But I can't imagine that that's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once? Well? But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first, yeah? You're right. You're always right, Chiaki. A class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. But still... Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? I just, I just, I just love it so much. You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together... Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. They might not do, though. Oh boy, time to head to Monokuma Rock. I am very, 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 very anxious. Oh wait, can I? Oh, do I have to go there manually? Oh, we were <laughs> we were on the island anyway. Okay, never mind. Oh, the last class trial. There really isn't many of us. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it, you're making me depressed. Stupid fool. <laughs> you're making me depressed. Um. Hmm. So it's it is going to happen again. The cruel conflicts where uh, we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That's right. That Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn it. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know? Kazuichi, you're an idiot. You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. Sure. We can really go home after this deal with the class trial. That's right. I'll definitely find out who the killer is no matter what, even if I have to pull out all the stops. Hi, Monami. You. What, what the fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? Monami seems different. The person controlling her, or the the traitor, or whoever. Hmm. The feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know. Does she want us to stay here forever or something? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> Stop trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up! Damn right, stupid rabbits should just shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I have finally realized after losing my powers. I've realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there is a possibility, you must face it. 
in order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? What's her deal? Um. I, I do not really know, uh, but she seems different from before. She does. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. But right, she looked so determined. You. You tell that just by looking at those button eyes. Ah. Anyway, make sure you turn off Mini Maru. It'd be annoying if he started talking during the trial. Never. Huh. No, I miss him already. But still. Somehow, I understand what Mo Monami is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going to the class trial. The last class trial. Yep. You're right, we need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless uh, truth awaits us in the end. Oh boy. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered ro uh, Monokuma Rock. Maybe for the last time? God, there's really not many of us left. Who could it be? I mean... Again, we still don't know how Nagito died or like... There's oh, so many questions. Well, this will be the last time for this too, right? Hope so. Well, Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Oh, gosh. Damn it. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um... Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We must fight. And then the door slowly opened. The bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? It's very bright, whatever it is. Well, now. Oh. Well then, now's the uh, now that that chatterbox Nagito is gone, there's only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Just fucking start this already. Hey! This is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep. It sure is. <laughs> so you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. All right! Didn't I tell you he said it? This is the end. Yeah, but... <laughs> dude... But, <laughs> There's many ways this could be the end, and most of them could be very bad for us. Oh yeah, Mon Monami's giving off real, real different vibes. Now then. She's not even hung up, which is weird in itself. Viva killing! Viva killing! This is a last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. Okay. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komeeda, the ultimate lucky student. Whose luck apparently ran out. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. Oh yeah, do you remember back when, when we thought nothing was wrong with the guy? Well, I don't know. I, was, I, I just assume everyone's, there's something wrong with everyone except Chiaki. Uh, but... Oh, there were simpler times, weren't they? Yep, and then his true nature held such a demented thought process that nothing like his out would have... Yeah. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to, to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there was also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it. But... There's no way he can, uh, we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. Look at Chiaki all on her own there. 
In order to return from this despair uh, alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. I would like to save my progress because we're going to end it here. I'm sorry, guys. We will start the trial properly next time. Oh my gosh. It's going to be just crazy, isn't it? It's going to be insane. I, I truly have no... Agito was brutally murdered, was he? Who's that? Anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of typos in this game. Like... And this is like a remaster. How did they, how did they not fix this? Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Look forward to the next, the last class trial. It will start in the next video.